Hello, in this video we, we're starting off with the idea that we can make a rectangular prism from five identical cubes. And in fact, when you have five identical cubes, we're told there's only one rectangular prism that you can actually make. Our job is to find what that prism is and then to connect it. What are other amounts of cubes that would lead to only one possible rectangular prism? And, and is there anything that we can connect here? Well, let's start by sketching out this idea. You have five identical cubes. You can imagine that if you put them in a line, what would happen is we would actually have right, a rectangular prism. This is my it's a little bit like butter here, but right, here's one cube, two cubes, three cubes, four cubes, and five cubes. Now let's we're pretending here that each of these cubes are exactly identical. So these five cubes, right, form this rectangular prism. That's formed by by five cubes. And we can even look at the volume and surface area. Right? Let's say the volume of one of these cubes is one cube. So the volume is just five cubes or five cubic whatever. Let's say the cubes are, are inch cubes, it would be five cubic inches. And then the surface area, well what would that be? There's there's five faces on each side here, there's long sides. So that's 5 times 4, or 20, right? plus the two ends, so plus 2, and that equals 22 square inches. That's the surface area. And the question is, what other numbers also fit this category? Where if you have that number, or x number of identical cubes, right? x number of identical cubes, when do they only form um, a... a one single or when do they form one unique rectangular prism. So when, you know, what number of identical cubes make a unique rectangular prism or just one? And I think, you know, the interesting thing is that if I had if I had six of them, you might be tempted to say, oh well I can just extend one here, right? One out here, make another identical cube. And that forms this rectangular prism. But six six cubes, right, could form another rectangular prism. Right? It would be something like this. Sorry about the bad sketch here. But it would be two layers, and on each layer would be three cubes. Oh boy, it's not, not a good sketch. But you, you, I think you know what I mean. There's three cubes up here, three down there. These six cubes can form another rectangular prism, so that won't work. But if I extend this again with another cube in the back, or again in the front, I have seven cubes, and there's no other way to actually form a rectangular prism. So five identical cubes form one rectangular prism. Seven also do the same thing. Eight won't, right, because eight can also be piled on here, one on the top and one on the bottom. So if we had another cube here in the front, right, that's eight, that won't work. Nine won't work, right, because you can arrange nine into other shapes as well. I'll leave it to you to try that. 10 won't work, but 11 will. So, and if we extend this, right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, one more back here, and then 10, 11. So 11 work as well. So this is getting too large. I want to work backwards for a moment. What about 4, four cubes? Well, 4 cubes can make a number of, of, of different types of cubes, but it would make a nice big cube here, right? Picture that they're two cubes on the bottom and two on the top. Oh boy, that sketch was terrible. I'll fix that. With four cubes, you could have two cubes here, right? One, two, and then two below to form another shape, as well as four in a row. Well, oh, that's, that's four cubes, badly drawn. But four would not work, but three would. In fact, three would form a line as well. One, two, three. You might start to notice something about these numbers, and Two also works, and so does one, but don't let one throw you off. Here, two also works. So we have five, seven, eleven, and before that we had the numbers three and two. And we can keep going here, but what you might notice is that all these numbers are prime numbers. So prime numbers are really special here because when we look at a prime number and represent it as a shape, we kind of get this rect one rectangular prism that we're able to form, basically a bunch of cubes in a line. And it doesn't work so that every rectangular prism that's drawn in a line is also a prime number, right? Because I could have four in a row, and that's not prime. 
But, right, if I keep extending this, this prism out in this direction and that direction, right, and making it a longer and longer shape, what I'm really doing is, make, is using prime numbers to form a rectangular prism. So there's that nice connection there, that prime numbers, right, they form a unique rectangular prism in the sense that every prime number can form only one particular rectangular prism. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks.